Here's a good problem for you for the winter time. It says a roadway is made of 12 meter long concrete slabs. Slabs are just touching the maximum temperature expected. How wide will the gap be when the temperature falls? Well, we all know that, those of us that have to drive in the wintertime, because these slabs do exactly that to expand and contract. Okay, so now, what do we need? Oh, we gotta draw a picture. And so our picture says this. At the maximum temperature, here's what the slabs look like. They are just adjacent to each other, like so. Right. That's at the maximum temperature. What happens when the temperature falls a lot? Well, then the slabs shrink. So it'll shrink a little bit this way, and it'll shrink a little bit that way. Shrink a little bit here, shrink a little bit there, like so. Right, okay. So then, what do we have in the way of a physics relationship that deals with this? Uh, we have one that says delta L equals the original length times alpha delta t. Okay, good. So then, in the first condition, the temperature is 60 degrees C. Temperature one is 60 degrees C. And it says the temperature at two is minus 45 degrees C. It looks like so. Right, okay, good. So then, this delta L, actually it's shrinking at both ends, isn't it? So then, this part would be delta L over two from this slab, and delta L over two from this slab adjacent to that. So what's the total then? The total is delta L, right. So what we're after then is delta L. Well, this ought to be pretty straightforward. We can just calculate this, can't we? L zero, the problem says is 12 meters long. 12 meters times alpha, which it says is 12 times 10 to the minus 6. 1 over degree C. Multiply by the delta T. So what's the delta T? <laughs> Another one you got to be careful of. Do you just take 60 minus 45 and say that the delta T is 15 degrees? Oh no, not at all. Think about this as being like on a number line from mathematics. If this is the zero on the number line, we started out at 60, this is plus 60 degrees C, and then the final temperature was minus 45 degrees C, and so the difference there is any 15 degrees C, it's then 105 degrees C, isn't it? So then this is 105 degrees C. Now remember how I like to convert degrees C into kelvins a lot. Could I have done that here? Yeah, but as it turns out, there's a nice clue in this. This alpha is in units of one over degree C. And so then you can cancel degree C. So when you're taking a delta of the temperature, that delta then, if you add 273 to both of the two terms, the delta then just can makes it cancel out. So this is gonna give us a unit then altogether of meters and this turns out to be 0 0.0151 meters. So, does that pass the test of reasonability? 0 0.0151, that's 1.5 centimeters. 1.5 centimeters, it's about like that. Does that seem about right for the kind of gaps that occur in the wintertime when it's really, really cold and you drive over and go bumpity, bumpity, bumpity? Doesn't sound too bad. Let's take that and be happy. Okay.